Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero playing Kicks or Quicks from a company called Teato or Taito. And this game was made for a lot of different systems. Um, there was an arcade game, probably first. And then uh, I played this on the Game Boy. This, of course, is the NES version. And the game's pretty simple. So we'll just go right into it. You are this little tiny dot that draws stuff, and the kicks is that thing that moves around. And the object of the game is to fill in the board around the kicks by drawing lines that connect. And a few interesting things here. Those guys are sparks. When the sparks come, if they touch your little I don't even know what you want to call it, cursor, then uh, you lose a life. And if the kicks touches you or your line, you lose a life. If you stop drawing your line for too long, then your line starts to grow this little tail that will kill you. It's kind of like um, the fuse on a bomb, and it will explode when it hits you. Uh, you can draw two different types of lines. You can draw a fast line or a slow line. And the slow line will give you more points. Once you hit the threshold required, the, game, the level will end and you'll go on to the next level. Now, I just played that as kind of like a regular person would. There are probably lots of different ways to play this, but I found that the, my favorite way to play was to draw my line, draw like these little tiny lines up the middle and try to like split the screen in half. And so these are the fast lines. I would do these with my regular fast line and then when I get to where there's just a little tiny bit left, I can do a slow line and get way more points for it. It's kind of a little cheap thing you can do there. And then you just kind of split it in half again and try not to get touched by anything while you're doing it. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a way to cheese the game. Sometimes you can trap the kicks in there in, like, a smaller space if you're really good. Ah, or you can get hit by the kicks, and that's what happens when you get hit by the kicks. So you will spawn back here, and so will the kicks. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can do a slow line right across there, and look at that, we got 80%. You get a bonus for each percentage point higher than the threshold that you get. Now the game eventually gets to the point where there's more than one kicks. Which is at this point, apparently. So that was showing if you split the kicks, you don't actually get any points for that level, but you get like a multiplier for uh, future levels, I believe. I could be getting that wrong. I, I just am kind of going off of memory here. I didn't even read the little thing that popped up. It probably explained it better than I did. And I just got hit by the thing going around, the uh, spark. So that's awesome. So I really want to split these guys. Oh man, I should have let him go across. That was foolish of me. I really should have just let him go across. He might still do it. Look at me, anthropomorphizing these these dancing line things. I just got hit again. Ah, oh, man. We'll see if we can do a little better here. I want to go while they're... Look at that. Okay, so then I do this, and I split them in half. All points now worth two times original value. So I don't get points for that level, but it gives me like this multiplier for, for the future. And I don't know if I can keep it, like, if I can multiply it up to four. I don't remember if that works. Um, but not as long as he's touching me like that, I can't. Come on. Oh, and there's a timer up at the top there. That when the timer gets down to the middle... Oh, look, I got a free life. Um, when the timer gets to the middle, like it all disappears, then I believe more sparks come on the screen. So you have, yeah, see so some new ones just spawned. Oh man, that was like a catch-22.
Oh yeah. So, I don't know if my points thing carried over, it's hard to tell. Just looking. Maybe because I lost a life, I don't get it? I'm not sure. Is 67,000 a good score? I don't know. But I still have one more life. Capture Spritz for extra points. I don't remember Spritz. I guess we'll find out what these are together. Are Spritz the things that are around the edge? I don't remember. Oh no, it's they're like little things that bounce around, I guess. Huh. I just wanted to do that. I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. I could have got a lot more points if I'd done it the other way. And... That's probably game over. So, that's Kicks. It's a game that I like. And if you haven't played it before, you probably should. Oh, I guess that's not too bad a score. I get to put in my name, except it's like the slowest name entry sc screen ever. You have to push the button every time to go to the next thing. Yes, I can actually hold the other thing. This is the right I guess that was the end. I pressed the B button. Anyway, join me next time for another NES Classic. Bye.